all welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to solve the remaining questions of exercise 1.1 from the chapter rational numbers of class 8 and for the previous four questions you can click on the link above and watch it so before watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new notification if you are new to my channel so let's get started with the video now let's solve question number five Name the property under multiplication using each of the following. Minus 4 by 5 into 1 equals to 1 into minus 4 by 5 equals to minus 4 by 5. So we will mention which property it is. So see here minus 4 by 5 into 1. If we do not put here 1 it is minus 4 and 1 into minus 4, 4 by 5 is also equals to minus 4 by 5. And here it is minus 4 by 5. So 1 is the multiplicative identity in each case. So we will write 1 is the multiplicative identity. So we will write 1 is the multiplicative identity because if we put 1 here, here or here the answer is same. So 1 is the multiplicative identity in this question number 1. So now we will solve number 2. Question number 2, minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7 equals to minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17. You see here, this is minus 13 by 17, minus 13 by 17 and this 2 is same, minus 2 by 7 and this also minus 2 by 7. So, it is like if this is A and this is B, this A is here again and B is here again. So, it is like A into B equals to B into A. So, A into B equals to B into A is the commutative property of multiplication. So, this property is the commutative property of multiplication. So, now we will do after this, we will do number 3. So, question number 3 is minus 19 by 29 into 29 by minus 19 equals to 1. So, what property is this? See here, this is minus 19 by 29 and if we multiply it with the reverse reciprocal of this, we get 1. Then this is called the multiplicative inverse. So, this property is called the multiplicative inverse where if we multiply this number by the reciprocal of the same number and if we get 1 then this is called the multiplicative inverse. So, now we will do the next question. So, the next one is question number 6. Multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. So, we will multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of 7 by 16. So, first we will write here 6 by 13 and we will write the reciprocal of this which is, we will multiply this and write the reciprocal of this which is minus 16 by 7. So, we cannot cut this and we will simply multiply this two which we have 6, 6, 36, 6, 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here we have 13 to 7, 3, 7, 0, 21, 7, 1, 7, 8, 9. So we have here minus 96 by 91. So after multiplying 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of this, we got minus 96 by 91. So now we'll do question number 7. Number 7. Tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 into 6 into 1 by 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3. So we will name this property. Okay. First we will write this. 
1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 as given in the question and we will compute this as 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3. So see here this is 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 take this as A this 6 as 6 as B and this 2 4 by 3 4 by 3 as 6. Let this be 3 numbers. So we have now A into B into C like it is A into B into C and we'll make this as C A into B into C A into B 6 is B into C is 4 by 3. So we have A into B into C equals to A into B into C. So this is called the associative property of multiplication or associativity you can say it. So this property is we call this as associativity. Okay, so A into B into C equals to A into B into C is associative property of multiplication. Now we will solve the next question. Question number 8 is, is 8 by 9 the multiplicative inverse of minus 1, 1 by 8? Why or why not? So see, we will see that 8 by 9 is the multiplicative inverse of this number and if it is a multiplicative inverse we will tell the reason why it is or if it is not then why it is not so 8 by 9 we'll write first 8 by 9 and we'll multiply this by minus 1 1 by 8 and if it is a multiplicative inverse we'll get the answer as 1 if after multiplying these two we get the answer as 1 then yes it is the multiplicative inverse and if we do not get 1 then it is not the multiplicative inverse. So we will solve and see. We will write 8 by 9 into we will multiply this 8 1 is 8 9 by 8 so we have here minus 9 by 8. So 8 and 8 cuts off 9 and 9 so the answer is minus 1 we have here minus 1 so the answer is minus 1 which is not equal to 1 that's why 8 by 9 is not the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 1 by 8 because it is not equal to 1. Not equal to 1. Because after multiplying this, if we get 1, then yes, it is the multiplicative inverse. Now it is clear to you. We will solve question number 9. Is 0 0.3 the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3? Why or why not? If it is a multiplicative inverse, we'll tell the reason why or why not if it is not a multiplicative inverse. So after multiplying 0 0.3 into 3 1 by 3, if we get the answer as 1, then it is the multiplicative inverse. And if we do not get 1, then it is not the multiplicative inverse. So we'll write a 0 0.3 into We'll write this 3, 1 by 3. Here you get confused because of the decimal, but it is quite easy. You see here, 3, 0 0.3, we can write it as 3 by 10 because after decimal, if it is one number, then we have one zero in the denominator, which is 10. Into we have 3, 3 is a 9, 10 by 3. So after multiplying, it gets cut off and we have 1 as the answer. So, yes, it is the multiplicative inverse. 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3. By 3 because 
the product is 1. So I hope this is clear to you. We'll solve the remaining questions in my next video. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.